Welcome to another vlog. So it's actually the afternoon. <laughs> Do I have stuff in my teeth? We're good. out of commission this morning, not feeling well. But we are getting going now. Gonna have a productive rest of the day. Just painted my nails, did a little planning, watched a little YouTube, and we're gonna get going for the day. I know it's still the beginning of September, but I feel like I'm ready for fall, folks. We've got the dark nails. I have some fall candles ready to go. I need to find a pumpkin. Whenever I paint my nails, it literally looks like a five-year-old did it because I just like to go over and then after like a day or two, it washes off, you know what I'm saying? But I wanted to show you guys because in the last vlog, I talked about working on my website and my website is now nearly done. I'm still working on it, but I just want to show you that it is now up and I actually have some different kinds of content on here. So if you go under the travel section, I guess it loads weird on an iPad. I haven't actually looked at it on an iPad, but on mobile and on desktop, it's aligned right. But anyways, oh, <laughs> it actually looks very odd on a, a uh, iPad. All right, I'm gonna attempt to fix that. I have these things called tiny travel guides. So you can actually download these for free. I'm gonna be doing it for different places that I travel post Corona, just local stuff for now. But I made this on the iPad and it just is a free downloadable version, like a single, you know, quick kind of visual travel guide. In the right section here, you can also access FAQs. So basically I have all my jewelry here. I always get asked about, these are all updated, so they're accurate. And then any discount codes I have. And then I'm also adding a design freebie section. So I'm gonna post anything I design, like iPhone wallpapers, iPad backgrounds, laptop backgrounds. I just really enjoy doing that stuff. You guys always ask for my different backgrounds anyways, and I'm just gonna make them downloadable on my website. So by the time this vlog goes up, those will be available for you to download. I also have my food section here. So some of my food photos. I do have a food Instagram account, Seattle Foodscapades. So that's one of the little side projects I've been working on. So I just put a little makeup on. I'll tell you the makeup details in a couple minutes, but I'm feeling folly. I got my fall sweater on, gold makeup, gold makeup, no, gold earrings full makeup. Well, let me show you the outfit I have on right now. My whole outfit that I'm wearing right now, sweater and jeans, which oh, I found some perfect fitting Abercrombie jeans thrifted that I'm thrilled about. We will get to that. But my whole outfit is thrifted from ThreadUp, which is the world's largest online thrift shop. So I wanted to say thank you to ThreadUp for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. I've worked with ThreadUp for years. I've got my good old ThreadUp box here. If you're someone who normally gets stressed or overwhelmed by thrifting because there's so much stuff to sort through, ThreadUp makes it really easy because you can sort by color, brand, size. I just have all of my preferences saved on my account. So anytime I go online to shop, everything is right there and anything that I could possibly like is gonna show up. So I usually just have like black, white, tan, all of the neutrals saved and all of my sizes and then I can get to shopping. And if it's your first time shopping on ThreadUp, you guys can get 30% off your first order with the code Taylor. That's a deal on top of a deal right there, my friends. So the estimated retail price on these Abercrombie jeans were $78 and I got them for $23.99. And the estimated retail price for this pink rose sweater was $36 and I got it for $11.99. Okay, I scored on these next two items. How freaking cute. So this jacket, I feel like I'm gonna get so much use out of. I'm sure you will see this all over my Instagram this fall. The only thing is, the, with this material, it's like the suede kind of thing. You know, I live in Seattle, so it rains a ton, so I'm just gonna have to be careful with that situation. It's not real suede, it's from Universal Thread, which is from Target. We're just gonna have to time it with the weather and things. But the estimated original price on this was $37, and I got it for $18.99, which for like a winter jacket or fall jacket, I feel like it's such a good deal. And this is actually pretty thick, like it's very warm. I am schwitzing up in here already. It's pretty warm. I feel like just with a black top underneath, black like high knee boots, ooh, with black high knee boots, it's gonna look so good. And then underneath I have, I just like kind of tucked it in, but I have on this Abercrombie flannel, I'll show you the full length, but this, the estimated original price was $60. Let me check, $60 and I got it for $10.99, $10.99. 10.99 for an upper crumpy flannel. This is why I love thrifting. I get such a good, such a thrill out of a good deal. It's an outfit, folks. I also picked up this really cute waffle print kind of sweater, and this was Forever 21. The estimated original price is $25, and I got it for $15.99. Very comfy. I love waffle prints. I don't know what it is, but this one's actually really long, so it could almost be a sweater dress on me, 
maybe just because I'm 4'11", but it could be a sweater dress. <laughs> so those were a few of the pieces that I picked up from ThreadUp for the fall. This is making me even more ready, even more excited. But if you want to check out ThreadUp and do some online thrifting yourself, you can use the code TAYLOR for 30% off your first order. And I'll have the link down below so you can check them out. Okay, so I figured I would just show you what I did for my face makeup today, or makeup in general. <laughs> but for face, I just put on Essence Fresh and Fit primer. I am almost out of this, so I'm just trying to use it up. I probably have like one or two more uses out of this, so you'll see this coming in an empties video soon. And then I also put on the Too Faced Plumpin' Prime. It says you're supposed to be able to see results in like three days or something like that. It's supposed to like tighten or something. I don't know, but I'm down to tighten. So I used this yesterday and then I tried it today. So tomorrow's the magic day, folks. We're supposed to be tightened up. That's what they say. I did a weird mix of foundation because I'm like a weird shade right now. My self tanner is kind of wearing off. So I used the Studio Fix Smashbox and I mixed the Guerlain Essential Foundation. I have a review on this. This is the lighter shade 00W. This one is quite yellow so I'm gonna have to see how it looks on my skin tone once my self tanner is worn off I'm not sure if I should get the other shade too now I don't I don't know what shade I am in this foundation basically for eyeshadow I tried the Terra Moon cosmetics I ordered these because I think I was gonna just order the black for my black eyeshadow video still testing a bunch of black eyeshadows and then I figured since I was already ordering the black I would try their other shadows and I've been following them on Instagram and I definitely want to order some of their neon shades now, but they're a Latina owned indie brand and I used just two shades today. I tried these two. As you can see, the formula is very powdery when you dip your brush in, but when you blend it on your eyes, I actually had no fallout. So that's good. I kind of was thinking I might have a lot of fallout just based on that, but I love this shade. It's such a pretty cool tone shade for the crease. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of everyday use out of this. Let me see what this is without digging my nail in. Okay, the shade is Thigh Highs. And then I also used, Ta oh man, I thought it said Taco Bell. I got excited. Tootsie Roll. Do I need glasses? Why did I think that said Taco Bell? And then I actually put this on my lower lash line just with a, a little brush and blended it. This one is Sweet Like Honey. Really liked those. This shade was insane, you guys, this matte shade. If you like these tones, Holy crap, the pigmentation was insane. So I'm excited to try more of their shadows. I decided anytime I buy single shadows, I'm just gonna buy the brand's palette too because it's so much easier to keep track of rather than having a bunch of like loose singles everywhere and then getting confused with what's what. So what else did I use? New Matte Velvet Skin for concealer, City Bronzer, but I also used, oh, the Dior palette. I also put a little bit of that shade on my lid actually too. Used e.l.f. Always Rosy Blush. Tree Sungasm Highlight, these two mascaras. For lips, I used Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Liner, Elf Cream Satin Lipstick, and then I wanted it to be a little bit peachier because this is like a really nice neutral nude, kind of more cool tone. So because I wanted it peachier, I added a little bit of MAC Magic Mirror is what this is called. And then I also put this bronze Make It Forever pencil, Aqua Resist pencil on my upper lash line, just smudge that. And that's everything on my face. Okay. <laughs> I have been hardcore craving Popeyes ever since I went. I tried it for my food Instagram account, not for it, but I've just been curious about it. I think it came out in 2019, but there were lines, like you couldn't get it for like a year in Seattle. Like there were lines, hour long waits or something. And now that it's, you know, a little bit later, it's kind of died down. So when I went, there wasn't anyone in line. There were like two people in line, but I got the spicy chicken sandwich. My only critique was that there were literally two pickles. So this time got to get those extra pickles. I've literally been dreaming about this sandwich and thinking about it nonstop since I got it last time. Oh my God. I am thrilled right now. Ooh, it's still warm. Oh my god. So I get the spicy one. Look at that beauty. The bread is like sweet and moist and you got to get the extra pickles if you're a pickle person. The chicken's like crunchy and flavorful. Ooh, it is toasty in this car without the AC on. Mmm. This is even better than the first time I got it. This is definitely like out of any fast food thing I've tried anywhere. I think this is definitely like in my top three things. I brought my soda stream. I've been pouring in some limeade into it. So I'll just pour in like a splash of limeade. It makes it really good. I just filmed a video, which will be up. Actually, I think that video will have been up on Monday and I think this vlog is maybe going up on Wednesday. Totally forgot. I also got 
Cajun fries. I ate like 99% of them on the way over here because I was about to eat my car and pass out. I was so hungry. I got to get this AC going, eat this, head back. I need to edit a bunch. I want to work on some graphic stuff from my website. Cheers. Okay, I feel like I haven't been this excited about a ColourPop collection since the tie-dye collection or the pastels. What was it? No, I'm blanking on the name. Look at this little ray of sunshine collection. First of all, I am so excited to try these. I'm sure you'll see these in a Foundation Friday or first impressions or something probably before this vlog goes up or if not like right after but this palette looks right up my alley with these like kind of mustardy warm tones but then also it looks like there's some cool tones in here and then just the sunflower packaging this just like goes along with the theme of our vlog today too you know I love when they do like the embossed packaging it's amazing how brands can do such nice packaging for like ten dollars and have good quality you know and then there's high-end brands that charge like forty dollars for something and have shitty packaging it just it blows my mind sometimes i did a whole video on uh worst packaging if you want to know my thoughts on that topic one of my favorite things about ordering on etsy is how things come packaged sometimes like they're just so simple and beautiful but I ordered a custom-made iPad, like a travel pouch kind of thing that came from, I think, the Ukraine. You could choose the um, engraving and color of the leather and everything. It's actually showing up lighter on camera. Quality feels really nice. It's like super soft. You can choose the hardware color. So obviously I got gold and then you can engrave it with whatever you want. So I wanted something that I put my iPad in for traveling, but also other stuff like the iPad, like the pencil and then my Kindle and stuff. So I wanted something with multiple pockets. Okay, so there's a little slot for the Apple Pencil. All right, so we can slide the Kindle in there. I'm gonna grab my iPad so we can see. Hopefully this fits, yep. Ooh, sweet. I love that. <gasps> Everything in one spot. So then you could just slip that into your purse or your backpack or whatever, and you have all of your technology in one spot. And I like that there's a spot for the Apple Pencil too. That was kind of my one thing. I know a lot of cases that you can keep like permanently, on your iPad come with a spot for the Apple Pencil, but I like having just the bumper kind of case on. This is what I just have on, you know, like daily. I don't like a big bulky case for day to day. So I just want a separate kind of situation like this for traveling. Cool, I like it. It looks different in every lighting. <laughs> I'll have the seller link down below if you guys also want to check it out. <sighs> I just got out of a nerve block injection appointment. So I'm feeling a little out of it, but I have so much I have to do today. Well, I'm literally directly under the freeway right now, so I don't even know if you can hear me. But the day must go on. I'm hoping that it doesn't flare up my head. By the way, I ordered more Adam's masks. I think these are the best face masks I've found so far. They're super, um, what's that material? It's like kind of the surf, what, what, why can't I think of words right now? Wetsuit material. So it dries really fast, which I like because I've been trying to hand wash my face masks every time after I wear them. And so I like these because they dry, you know, in a few hours, basically. She actually got some of the dye that they put on your neck when they inject you on here and she just cleaned it off and it's already dry. So I got a gray one and then I also got a light blue one and I wear a size small if you're wondering, but this one fits really well and they're also really comfortable for working out and walking and stuff too. But I got Starbucks before the appointment this morning, nitro with sweet cream. I haven't had Starbucks in a long time. It's this really unflattering lighting that's a little bit better. I'm trying to find a balance of like showing my actual life what goes on because it just feels weird. Like normally I would just <laughs> pick up the camera and go talk about some fall candles or something. But in reality, like this is what I did this morning. Basically every single day I have some doctor's appointment usually about five times a week, whether it's chiropractic, massage, physical therapy, nerve block injection, rheumatologist, neurologist, something. And you guys don't see any of that. I'm trying to find a therapist to talk about all this stuff, but I just try and get the most out of every day that I possibly can. So now I'm gonna go get my car washed. <laughs> just the outside, I'm gonna go through the car wash thing probably on the way home and then I have a work call. I need to finish filming this vlog, finish editing this vlog, and then I need to finish editing a second video. But anyways, let's go get a car washed. <laughs> Okay, so I have a little candle haul. Candles are something that I've been just deciding not to buy from Bath and Body Works anymore and probably not like 
TJ Maxx and stuff. I might buy one like here and there. But for the most part, there are so many amazing candles from Etsy that you can buy from smaller brands and just support, you know, smaller businesses. And I know you can do that with a lot of different things, but candles are just one of those things for me that's like an easy switch. Like, why not, you know? So I ordered from... I think it's Aniko or maybe a and I Co, but this is a black owned brand. I ordered three. They do like a sampler thing. I think it was three for $40, which is pretty good pricing actually for the size candles or eight ounce candles. My favorite one is actually Self and I love the packaging of these two. Also for fall, it's pretty with the kind of yellow on here too. Looks kind of sunflowery. Cedar wood smells really nice. Definitely smells like a fall one. And then this is a Pacific Northwest Washington brand. I actually found them on Etsy and I showed them on Instagram and then they reached out and they actually sent me their fall collection. So I ordered Lumberjack myself and then their quarantine and chill. And Lumberjack smells like an amazing guy candle. If you like man candles, like a Bath and Body Works, like all the guy cologne scented candles, you would like Lumberjack. Like if you like mahogany teak wood, you would like this one. These have the wood wick, so they crackle a little bit. And I've been burning the quarantine and chill one and it's lasting a really long time so far. It burns evenly and I like the wick and everything. So I'm really liking the anchored Northwest candles. So thank you to them for sending me some of their fall collection. I love this one, Chai a Little Harder. And I don't like candles that have like too much of a throw because I do like to burn my candles for a long time. I like looking over and seeing the flame, you know, I find it really relaxing. So if a candle is too overpowering of a scent, I, I just find that I kind of have to blow it out. So these ones I feel like are a good middle ground where it definitely, you know, makes your room smell amazing and makes your place smell good, but I can't have it lit for a few hours. Oh my god, this might be one of my favorites. Try a little harder. Actually smells like um caramel. I'm excited. Look at all these fall candles. So I'll link all these down below. If you guys have any favorite candle brands, I actually asked on Instagram when I was posting about Anchored Northwest and I got so many good recommendations. So I am going to be purchasing more of those. I think I'm set for now. I have so many candles to go through. I also still have a stack. I'll show you. I have this one, which I'm almost burned through. These are not very organized, but I have these that I had already purchased. These are all Bath and Body Works from like I don't even know if it was last year. It might've been from two years ago. And then I have some that were like gifted random candles. And then I also have ones down here. So like I'm, you know, not low in the candle department. We're stocked up. I got the sweetest little package from a subscriber, Faith. Her Etsy shop is Stationery by Faith. And I thought these were so adorable. Look at these little sticky notes. Bookmark with the tassel. So I'll link her Etsy shop down below. But thank you, Faith. These are adorable. If any of you guys have Etsy shops, you can always email me. I think it's so cool, like getting to see what you guys actually make. Picked up a couple new coffees to try that sounded like kind of folly. I don't know why flavored coffee seems like fall to me. I'm not in the pumpkin coffee, I've decided. So I just want some kind of flavored one. Got really good reviews and so did the Folgers Natural Caramel. Car car well, I didn't even know that uh, they made this. I've never seen this and I don't really like Folgers typically, but we're giving it a go. Wow, the lighting in here is horrendous. I have this container store little jar that I use for my coffee. I have some ginger, like powdered ginger down there. Whenever I open this cabinet, like when I just got out the coffee, oh my God, so intense. It must be flying around down there because I just inhaled a crap ton of loose ginger powder. <laughs> Why can't I smell either of these right now? I don't have COVID. Okay, that smells promising. Let's go in with that one. You know what I have being delivered today, I just remembered? Ooh, this is exciting. I have a um, treadmill, <laughs> like a very mini walking, obviously walking treadmill. Not obvious, but I don't run. Treadmill. Uh, the only thing I'm cleared to do is walk. <laughs> I can't do any other form of exercise, so. I got a treadmill. I do walk outside too as much as I can, but sometimes just for like, you know, in between, I just want something to walk inside real quick, especially when it gets colder in Seattle and it starts raining. I thought it'd be nice to have. And it's just like a really small, no handles, um, called an under the desk one by Sunny. I just bought it off their website because it was cheaper. They were doing some kind of sale and it was like way faster shipping than Amazon. So I think I'm just gonna put it in my living room, walk a little bit while I, you know, watch some Married at First Sight. Who's watching the new Married at First Sight season? This is the first time I've watched it as it's actually airing on TV. I don't have my fall mugs out yet of storage, so this will have to do. Folgers Caramel Taste Test. Wow, this is hot as shit today. Hmm. Tastes like Folgers. Yeah, I'm not into that. It's not very strong. Maybe if I put it into a French press where I could like control the amount, 
and put more in. It's a no in the Keurig. I'm still gonna drink it. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, it is just one of those days, you guys. Yeah, I just uh, had a little cry session in a pile of fall candles and I just almost whacked myself in the head with this. If you saw my Instagram post, this is that same day. I'm not doing this twice. That would be something else. Um, interesting breakdown location in a pile of literal fall candles. But if you didn't, I'm just gonna leave that here and stop talking because it just kind of sums up everything I'm feeling right now. Hmm. I probably shouldn't end off the vlog like this, right? It's a little depressing. <laughs> I'm trying to mask as much of my um, <laughs> appearance as possible right now because I um, we don't need an explanation. I think it's clear. <laughs> Last night I um, tried this. It's the new Glow Recipe Papaya Sorbet Cleansing Balm. Oh, oh my god. It smells like actual cantaloupe juice, which like I'm good with putting in my body, but putting on your face gives me the chills. Pretty color. Love the packaging. It's a no. Other than just the scent too, it left this like very slick, oily kind of residue, which I just don't like in a cleansing balm. I've got on my hoodie. I never talk about this sweatshirt, but it is still available. This is my win hoodie. It has quotes from you guys on it that you guys um, submitted on Twitter. It is always available. It's on my website on the merch section or I'll link it down below, but it's super thick. And now that, you know, summer's kind of coming to an end and it's fall again, figured I would mention it, but it is just so comfortable. It's like a very nice quality, thick hoodie. There's that. These glasses are so intense. They're like blue light. I think these are blue light glasses, not, not, entirely sure. My lights keep wigging out so I haven't been able to vlog in the bathroom. Like I'm pretty sure I just need to replace the light bulbs. But I figured I'd give a few skincare updates. I've been trying the Deep Sweep 2% BHA from Pharmacy instead of the Polish Choice BHA because I finished that one up. You guys will see it in empties coming. It's my holy grail. But I'm trying this instead just to try it. It's a new release. I'm trying to use up this vitamin C so I can repurchase my favorite uh, Sunday Riley CEO. Love my Purito. Also trying this, but it's super scented. The Misha Soft Finish. Testing Glossier right now. I always rave about this, but it is so freaking good, you guys. It leaves my skin looking so just like plump in the morning. The Ernalazzo for Marine Night Cream. Talked about this in my most recent current favorites. This is the retinol I was talking about that I did not like, but I was trying just because it makes me super peely. It has salicylic acid in it. it makes my skin peel like crazy. <laughs> This is a little ridiculous. I don't think I have enough SPFs in here. What do you think? I've also been really liking the Dime Beauty Super Skin Toner with Witch Hazel. I've been using this in the morning mostly along with their Hyper Glow. But I'm gonna end off this vlog here so none of us have to stare at this situation anymore. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I started editing back some of it and I don't know, man. I cut out a lot of stuff. Emotions, they're hard on YouTube. I really, really appreciate those of you who comment on vlogs because vlog comments to me are like, I just really enjoy sitting down after I post a vlog and I read every single comment, vlog comment especially, and I try to respond to a ton of them. I usually spend a couple hours responding to vlog comments and hearting them and stuff. And so, I don't know, there's just something different about like the comments that you guys leave on vlogs. So if you're someone who does take the time to do that, I really appreciate it. And it feels like a different level of connection. I don't know if you guys feel that, almost just ate that and yeah, I just really appreciate it. So I love you guys. And if you do want to check out ThreadUp, I will have the link down below in the description box and you guys can use the code Taylor to get 30% off your first order. And I'll have that linked down below. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.